Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Finally, there is a good news from Google that they have updated their Gemini 2.5 Pro model and now it is even better at coding. If you go to this WebDev Arena leaderboard, there you will see that their latest model Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview 0506 is the number one model and here 0506 means the date they have mentioned means they have published this model on 6th May. So that's why this 0506 and now it is beating this Claude 3.7 Sonnet also. So Claude 3.7 has a score 1357 but this Gemini 2.5 Pro latest model has a score of 1419 arena score so that means it has a huge capability previously this gemini had this model gemini 2.5 pro experimental 0325 but now after upgradation this model is gemini 2.5 pro preview 0506 and it has better capability also in this video i will show you that how you can use this model with uh, VS Code client and Ru code extension and we will build one project like the Reddit clone and we will see that how much capability it has and also this model has a good designing capability. Here you see that this person has done some experimental with this Gemini 2.5 Pro latest model and uh, he is saying that it beats O3 and Claude 3.7 Sonnet on several of my hard prompts. One example prompt is code simulation of water in a bucket that is rocking back and forth. See how it crashes O3 and Sonnet. Here you see that he has done a full comparison with this O3 Sonnet and this Gemini latest model. And here you see this is the output from this clot and this is the output from O3 and uh, the output from Gemini is this. And here you see that Gemini is performing at least better than the other model. Here you see that there is another example from this guy. He has uh, coded a garden bed planner that generates layouts based on plan height and orientation to the sun. And he has used this Gemini 2.5 Pro latest model. And here you see that this is the garden bed planner output from this model. It is actually amazing guys. And not only this, here you see that uh, this is another experiment from this guy and very excited to share the best coding model we have ever built. Today we are launching this 2.5 Pro preview model and here you see on the left hand side they have provided these images and on the right hand side he, they have uploaded these images on this Gemini latest model and they are asking can you code this app? And after that, here you see result from this uh, Gemini latest model. So there is a color palette that you can use to draw on this canvas. So it is actually amazing guys means they can read the images and they can transform that into a quote label things. And also the application is working perfect. Expect meaningful improvements for front end and UI development alongside improvements in fundamental coding tasks such as transforming and editing code and creating sophisticated agentic workflows. How to use this model? So for that you have to go to this Google AI studio and there on the right hand side you will find this Gemini 2.5 Pro preview this uh, 0506 and uh, here you will see that the model capability it is based for coding, reasoning and multimodal understanding and uh, it can tackle difficult code and math problems and use the long context for analyzing the large data set. Okay, 1 million context and here you see that for the free user, uh, they have this limit which is 5 requests per minute and 25 requests per day. And uh, for that we have to use this UI, this Google AI Studio UI and if you want to use it in client or root code extension then first of all install that extension from this vs code and after that open this uh, client and here go to the settings and here you will find this uh, google gemini and you can uh, select this model but here in this model list you will not find that 0506 model 
you have to choose this uh, 2.5 Pro Preview 0325 model because in their blog client has already told us that using 0325 in client automatically points to the 0506 version. So they will publish the latest update in the next release. There we will see the 0506. But if you select this 0325 also, then also it will take the latest model update. And I hope you know that how to get this Gemini API key. So for that you have to go to this uh, Gemini AI Studio dashboard here. You will find this get API key option. Click on that. And on the right hand side you will find this create API key. Here make your API key. Give any name here. Select this Gemini API and click on this create API key in the existing project. After that you will get your API key here. So copy that and paste here. Okay. And another way is you can use the request key. So from this API provider select this request key. And after that uh, if you go to this request key website. This is the UI. Make sure you log in or make an account here. And after that you will find this kind of dashboard and you will get one dollar credit for free and here from this model you can uh, see the gemini 2.5 pro okay here you see that uh, this is the model 2.5 pro preview 0506 they have clearly mentioned it so if you go to this vs code and here you see that uh, from this model section you will find this 2.5 pro preview 0506 and provide your api key so after you log in to this request key you will get one api key from them and also uh, from the left hand side you will find this api key option so go there and create one okay i have already created my own and after that uh, if you want And the process is same for the root code also and uh, you have to go to the, this root code and click on the settings and here you will find this API provider request key, provide the API key and select this model. Okay. And now let me go to this client and we will make that project Reddit clone. Now for that I have one prompt design a threaded discussion forum with upvoting and downvoting feature in HTML, CSS and JS and if I press enter. Here you see that it is doing the API request. Now my task got completed. Here you see that it has prepared all of these things and they have included this create new post and replies, rendering post and their threaded replies and handling this upboard and downboards all of these things and also here you see that it has done all of this html structure and uh, the plan also they have generated in a correct way like voting mechanism reply functionality and this css styling all of these things they have done this in proper way the javascript logic data management all of these things now let me show you that uh, the ui that i have got Now if I go to my browser and there if I run this on 5500 here you see that there is a beautiful UI I have got and this title and content, sec content section create new post this is a discussion forum create post button now if I write here like uh, hey guys okay. hey guys and here content just write subscribe okay and click on the create post here you see that i got this post below there is a upvote and downvote feature click on upvote yes it is increasing downvote yes it is decreasing okay so if i click on this reply here and yes click on the submit reply yeah it is working and also here you see that the date and also the time and they have given here so now uh, you can make it looking modern uh, by giving some extra prompt also and also you can upload one good UI image and tell it that to make the UI like this add some gradient and the another features you can add here but with the one go it has generated all of this functionality and it is working fine so guys please use this model 
and uh, let me know your thought your experience with this model and if you found this video helpful if you want to get this type of videos more don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching